الله أكبر الله أكبر الله Another busy day begins for the Khalifa of Islam. Over the next 365 days, Hazrat Khalifa al Masih's daily routine will see him lead thousands of prayers, deliver dozens of Friday sermons, reply to countless letters, and meet tens of thousands of members of his community. But this is only a glimpse into his busy schedule. For what lies ahead is an agenda that is incomparable to any agenda. Throughout the year, Hazrat Khalifa al Masih will grace various events, address countless dignitaries and influential people, spread the message of the true Islam, and most importantly, guide the members of the community ever closer to Allah the Almighty. This is a year in the life of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, the Khalifa of Islam. Hazur has been divinely bestowed the responsibility for the guidance of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat. This may seem an impossible task as millions of Ahmadi Muslims are spread over 200 countries around the world. But by the grace and blessings of Allah, MTA International is the perfect tool for not only guiding and training his community, but to spread the true message of Islam. This is the link between Hazrat Khalifa al Masih and the world. And that is why great emphasis is laid to ensure that MTA continues to achieve its purpose. The truly great blessing and prayer Allah has granted the Jamaat in the form of MTA. Certainly, and with the grace of Allah, people are starting to realize that our teachings represent the true Islam. We are now seeing that the focus and attention of uh, the world is moving in the direction of Ahmadiyya. The reach of the Jamaat through all forms of media, whether broadcast, print, or electronic is continuing to increase. In North America, Europe, Africa, Australia, and elsewhere, the Jamaat is starting to receive much more media coverage. And so millions of people are now becoming aware of our teachings. And so I hope and pray that Allah the Almighty continues to bless us with such people who are able to serve MTA with sincerity and a spirit of true devotion. And I hope and pray that we are able to take full benefit of this great treasure that Allah has bestowed upon us. So that the message of true Islam shines brightly and comes to enlighten every home in the world. Through the blessings of Allah the Almighty, MTA International uses the latest technological advancements to link Ahmadis around the world with their beloved Khalifa and to spread the message all over the globe. For example, the two-way link is frequently used to create a platform where Ahmadis sitting thousands of miles away can experience the presence of their master live within their very homes. Yad 
कर लेना हमें पहले वफा This weekend, you have held your ijtima here in Islamabad, and similarly, the Khudamul Amdiya in the United States have also held their national ijtima and are listening to my address today directly through MTA. Thus, today, all of you should make a firm pledge that you will be the people who will seek to protect Islam from all of the attacks of it faces, and you will be the people who seek to spread its peaceful teachings far and wide. Aaj Allah Ta'ala ke fadl se Jamaat Ahmadiyya Bangladesh ka jalsa sanana apne ikhtitam ko pohunch raha hai. Ye jalsa kya hai? Yakinan Mukarrarin ne aur shayad iftah karne wale ne aapko bataya hooga. Balki har saal hi bataya jata hai کہ حضرت مسیح محمد علیہ السلام کا جلسوں کے انعقاد کا مقصد کوئی دنیاوی مقصد نہیں تھا بلکہ اپنی جماعت کے افراد کے تقوی کے معیار کو اونچا کرنا مقصد تھا رہبر کے لیے دوستو the annual Germany Jalsa is one such a momentous occasion as Hazrat Khalifa al Masih blesses the three day event with his presence. Over the course of the convention, Hazu's various awe inspiring addresses are the highlight of the convention and treasure for all participants. One such address is delivered on the second day of the Germany Jalsa, where Hazur addresses the non Ahmadi guests at the convention. This year's address covered the fact that Ahmadi Muslims are the true promoters of peace, and unlike other Muslims, they are the followers of the true Islam. Let me first of all make it clear that Ahmadi Muslims are entirely sincere in their efforts to promote peace in the world and always endeavor to practice what they preach. We are the same from the inside as the outside and live our lives according to what we believe in our hearts to be true Islam. I would also like to make it clear that when Ahmadi Muslims spread teachings of peace, security, and love for all, they are not presenting anything new, but are manifesting only the true teachings of Islam. In every respect, Islam is the religion of peace, harmony, tolerance, and compassion. This is only one of the many events in which His Holiness addresses the world about the true message of Islam. In this day and age, it is only Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, who is delivering this service of defending Islam. But his efforts were taken to new heights as the world witnessed a horrific side of so-called Islam. The year 2014 brought along another important turning point in history when so-called Islamists once again tarnished Islam. Islam was once again branded as a religion of terrorism and violence. But it was the head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, once again, who took up the painstaking task of showing the true beauties of Islam. In wake of these events, it was for the first time ever the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat UK held two-piece symposia instead of one in a year. The highlight of both symposia was the keynote address of His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad. Firstly, on the 8th of November 2014, His Holiness addressed the dignitaries condemning the activities of ISIS and proved from the Holy Quran that this group had no relation to Islam. His Holiness proved that Islam was in fact a religion of peace. Over the past year, 
One particular group has viciously spread its network of terror and has become a cause of major concern for the world. I'm speaking of the group of extremists commonly known as ISIS or IS. The actions of this extremist group are not only impacting Muslim countries, but also countries in Europe and further afield are also being affected by its brutalities. The fact that all of this is being done in the name of Islam sincerely grieves and pains all true and peace-loving Muslims because such brutal and inhuman ideologies have nothing to do with the religion whatsoever. Rather, in every way and at every level, Islam's real teachings are of peace and security for all people. The second of these conferences was held in March 2015. His Holiness urged the Western powers and influential people to adopt justice and to recognize their responsibilities. In terms of extremism, let it be absolutely clear that wherever and whenever anyone seeks to justify their hate-filled atrocities or injustices in the name of Islam, they should be condemned. Let it also be very clear that such acts have no relation whatsoever to the true and peaceful teachings of Islam. There is no doubt that major powers and certain political and religious leaders are motivated by greed and their best interests. Their selfish, uh, selfish desires have contributed to the desperate state of affairs that we are witnessing. And so, responsibility also lies with them. The world is being consumed by various issues that are leading to frustration and resentment, which in turn are undermining peace. Seated before me are various politicians, influential figures, and well-educated people. And so I wish to reiterate that you should all try your level best to influence your governments and leaders positively towards establishing justice and honesty at all levels. These are the keys to solving the many international and domestic crisis of our time. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed emphasized on a similar topic at his reception of the recently inaugurated Maria Mosque in Ireland on the 26th of September 2014. The head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community was welcomed by the mayor and other dignitaries to the city and considered it an honor of being present at this momentous occasion. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome His Holiness Hazrat Mizar Masur Ahmed to Galway and say you're very, very welcome here to the City of the Tribes. It is an honor and a privilege as Mayor of Galway to be here at the public inauguration of Mary Ann Mosque, Mosque of Mary in Galway. This is indeed a historic moment as Galway witnesses the opening of its first ever mosque, Masjid Miriam, which is a symbol of peace and love for the people of Galway and of Ireland. The Khalifa of Islam addressed the 170 dignitaries and guests condemning all forms of terrorism and explained that the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was a mercy for mankind. Hence, this mosque, like all other Ahmadi mosques around the world, will prove to be a symbol of peace. In light of this, I say without any hesitation that there are many so-called Muslims who are per 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 uh, perpetrating the very greatest evils in the name of Islam. However, I should also make it clear that such reprehensible conduct by Muslim groups or governments do not in any shape or form reflect 
Islam's true teachings. On the contrary, Islam is that religion which has taught Muslims to, to live their lives by treating one another with love, compassion, and mercy. All of our mosques are centers of peace and harmony, where those who seek to unite mankind through love join together to promote mutual harmony, to worship, and to pray for the peace, safety, and well-being of all, man, uh, all mankind. During his visit to Ireland, the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, was invited to the National Irish Parliament, where he was given a presidential reception from the parliamentarians. His Holiness answered questions regarding the teachings of the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet of Islam and explained the work the community does to create peace in the world. The month of January was an extremely delicate and dangerous period for the Islamic world. The depiction of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, of Islam by a French satirical magazine had enraged the Muslims all around the world. The consequence saw brutal attacks being carried out in Paris by so-called Muslims, hence giving the world another chance to defame Islam and its teachings. But the champion of Islam again stood up against the world to prove that Islam is in fact a message of love and the Holy Prophet was the Prince of Peace. France mein jo ek zalmana waqia hua hai aur Islam aur Hazrat sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke naam par jiska Islam ki taleem se dur kabhi wasta nahi kanoon mein kanoon haath mein lekar kisi ko is tarah maarna qatl karna ye hum hamesha kehte hain ke Islam ki taleem se isko wasta nahi aur sabit karte hain ke taleem se wasta nahi لیکن پھر بھی نام نہاد مسلمان اور یہ مسلمان تنظیمیں اپنی حرکتوں سے اور ان ظلموں سے باز نہیں آتے گزشتہ دنوں فرانس میں جو حالات ہوئے اور مسلمان کہلانے والوں نے ایک اخبار کے دفتر پر حملہ کر کے جو بارہ آدمیوں کو مار دیا اس کے بارے میں مختصر ذکر کر کے گزشتہ جمعے میں میں نے احمدیوں کو افراد جماعت کو درود پڑھنے کی طرف توجہ دلائی تھی کہ قتل و غارت گری سے اسلام کی فتح نہیں ہو بلکہ آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پر درود بھیجنے سے ہم اپنے مقصد میں کامیاب ہو سکیں گے کاش کے مسلمان تنظیمیں جو اسلام کے نام پر ظلم کرتی ہیں سمجھیں کہ اسلام کی پیار و محبت کی تعلیم زیادہ جلدی دنیا کو اسلام کی آگوش میں لا سکتی ہے اسلام جس طرح صبر اور حوصلے کی تعلیم دیتا ہے اس کا کوئی دوسرا مرض مقابلہ ہی نہیں کر سکتا اس مرتبہ یہ بھی پہلی مرتبہ ہوا ہے کہ اس واقعے کے بعد یو کے اور دنیا کے مختلف میڈیا نے جماعت سے بھی ہمارا رد عمل یا موقف اس بارے میں پوچھا جس میں ہم نے اس قتل کے واقعے کے بارے میں بتایا کہ یہ غیر اسلامی فعل ہے اور ہم اس پر افسوس کرتے ہیں لیکن آزادی رائے کی بھی کچھ حدود ہونی چاہیے ورنہ دنیا میں فساد پیدا کرنے کے ذمہ دار وہ لوگ ہوں گے جو دوسروں کو جذبات کو انگیخت کرتے ہیں بہرحال اس کے علاوہ اس تفصیلی باتیں کچھ بیان ہوئی ہیں پریس میں یو کے میں اسکائی نیوز نیوز فائیو بی بی سی ریڈیو ایل بی سی بی بی سی لیڈس اور لنڈن لائیو پھر باہر کے ٹی وی ہیں فاکس ٹی وی ہے سی این این ہے کینیڈا کے اخبارات ہیں اس طرح یونان آئرلینڈ فرانس امریکہ کے مختلف اخبارات ہیں انہوں نے ہمارا موقع بیان کیا 
इंटरव्यू उनके स्टूडियो में जाके भी हुए हैं और कई मिलियन लोगों तक इस्लाम का हकीकी मौकफ और तालीम पहुंची इस तरीके से इस तरफ आहरारप का Due to certain situations in the Islamic world over the past few years, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has seen an increase in media coverage. The whole world is curious and eager to find out why this community doesn't partake in terrorism and why is this community different? And most importantly, how can we establish world peace? Our beloved Khalifa has been at the forefront in spreading this message to the corners of the world. The international media can no longer turn a blind eye to this magnificent service of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Rahmad, the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, is approached by many TV and radio channels and the print media when they go out in pursuit of the true message of Islam. For, for those non-Muslim people listening to you, um, who who will welcome all your words of peace, I'm sure, and welcome. um you know all, all that they can learn about the idea community um but they will also want for example the right to offend the right to, for the charlie abdo magazine to do the cartoon it it did the week after the killings that they want a, a number of things to to be okay on the streets of britain and in the magazines of britain and and in conversations what what do you say to, to those people who fear that your message might be you can't do this so somebody wrote that right to offend does not mean to offend is right that so see we n- need some harmony and peace in the world if such actions are welcomed or fanned by the media or by any of the society organization then you cannot establish peace in the world so every person every organization all the media should realize their responsibility and play their role as i've said to act peacefully to 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 cool down the people to give good news to the people instead of inciting them similarly hazu was interviewed by a national weekly german newspaper during his tour of germany kuch arse se duniya boko haram aur isis ki khilafat ka ke bare mein sunti hai magar khilafat e ahmadiyat aur is khilafat jo hum jis jiska germano ko jo sunte hain usme farq kya hai islam hai hikmat ka mazhab islam ne har baat ki ek daleel di hai islam ne buniyadi taur par kaha ke khilafat ka taluq nabuwat ke sath hai आ हज़रत वसम ने फरमाया कि तुम में खिलाफत पहले नबूत है फिर खिलाफत हाजिर नबूत है उसी तरीके पर चलने वाली नबूत है खिलाफत है जो नबूत के असूल पर चलेगी नबूत का असूल क्या था नबूत का असूल यही था कि इंसाफ करो अदल करो खुदा तारा की तरफ लेकर आओ हैं रहम करो अगर म ही म था तो अल्लाह ताली अपने आप को रहमान An important part of the peace symposiums are the sittings with various press representatives that are held after the event. Hazur is interviewed by both the Pakistani media and the international media separately. A message of peace and service to mankind is echoed throughout all of Hazur's interviews and speeches. This is one of the great services of His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Rahmat. to call the world to believe in the one god and his messenger peace and blessings of allah be upon him the jamaat responding to the call of their beloved khalifa has taken this into a practical form as well with the establishment of various organizations such as IAAAE and humanity first hazur ensures that the community is at the forefront of serving mankind Hazur addressed the IAAE European Symposium on the 2nd of May in which he explained that service to humanity was a major part of Islam and presented the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him as the role model for all of man. The humanitarian work 
conducted by the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is rendered entirely selflessly and without any desire for worldly reward. This is not only because it is a uh, basic moral obligation to help others, but also due to the fact that serving humanity is an essential part of our faith as Muslims. Similarly, the Holy Prophet وسلم, repeatedly said that it was essential to fulfill the rights of mankind. If we look at his own blessed example, we see that in every possible way he served humanity and forever sacrificed his own comfort in order to provide comfort and ease to others. Hazu delivered a similar message at the concluding address of the Humanity First conference. Hazu explained the purpose for the establishment of Humanity First. Certainly, this is the very basis and purpose with which Humanity First was named. That, first of all, humanity. And one's own prayer <coughs> and comfort is secondary. Thus, every person associated with Humanity First, whether they are part of its executive body, or whether they are workers or volunteers, should understand this philosophy and this spirit. Every member should utilize their abilities and skills for the sake of others and should be ready to accept any form of discomfort hardship or sacrifice for the sake of giving ease and comfort to those who are in need or who have been deprived in any way. They should not seek any worldly reward, but their sole motivation should be the love and prayer of God the Almighty. Certainly, the scale of the work being done by Humanity First far exceeds the funds that it has available. Other charities could not do 10% of the work that Humanity First does with the same amount of money. This is all a result of Allah's grace and blessings. And you should remember this at all times. In Islam, a mosque symbolizes a place of worship, peace and solitude. Throughout his tenure, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih has laid the foundation stones and inaugurated a great number of mosques around the world. Whether it be Europe, the Far East or the Far West, the message that is echoed from these mosques is always the same, the message of the Holy Quran. Hazur has repeatedly said that these mosques are a beacon from which the light of peace and the true Islam shall illuminate the world. By the grace and blessings of Allah on the 26th of September 2014, Hazur inaugurated the first purpose-built mosque in Ireland. In his Friday sermon, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih emphasized that the purpose for Ahmadi mosques all over the world is the same, the worship of God and service to man. अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आज हमें आयरलैंड में जमात अहमदिया मुस्लिमा की पहली मस्जिद में अल्लाह ताला जुमा पढ़ने की तौफीक عطا फरमा रहा है अल्लाह ताला इस मस्जिद के तामीर इसका قیام हर लिहाज से बरकत फरमाए यह मसाजिद इस बात का ऐलान करने के लिए हम तमीर करते हैं कि दुनिया के फसादों को दूर करने के लिए इस्लाम की उस खूबसूरत तालीम पर गौर करो 
جو محبت پیار صلح اور امن کا پیغام دیتی ہے یہ مساجد اس بات کے اعلان کے لیے ہیں کہ دنیا کو محبت پیار اور بھائی چارے کی ضرورت ہے نہ کہ جنگ و جدل کی نہ کہ تلوار اور توپ کی یہ مساجد جو ہم تعمیر کرتے ہیں اس بات کا اعلان کرتی ہیں کہ اس مسجد میں آنے والے کا دل ہر قسم کے ظلموں اور حقوق و سب کرنے کے خیالات سے پاک ہے یہ ہماری مساجد اس بات کا نشان اور مرکز ہیں کہ یہاں آنے والے دوسروں کے حقوق کی ادائیگی کے لیے ہر قسم کی قربانی کرنے والے ہیں In the early days of June, the soil of Germany was graced with blessed presence of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih. During Hazu's two-week stay, four mosques all over the country were inaugurated with the blessed hands of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih. Hazu's first stop was in the historic city of Aachen, on the western border of Germany, where Hazu inaugurated the Bad al-Mansur Mosque. A special reception to commemorate the event saw many dignitaries, officials, members of parliament and other prominent members attend the event. The Lord Mayor delivered a speech in which he welcomed Hazur to Aachen and congratulated the community on the inauguration of the mosque. Guter Tag, ein freudiger Tag. Zum einen, weil wir ein neues Gotteshaus haben, was wir zu Recht feiern. Zum anderen aber auch, weil diese Einweihung der Moschee der Ahmadiyya Muslime ohne hitzige Debatten, ohne aufgeregte mediale Diskussion, ohne Streit und ohne Hader vorbereitet werden konnte. The highlight of the reception was of course the address of Khalifa al-Masih. Hazu reminded the attendees of their prime purpose. Was hier khusur ta'lim hai, jo Allah Ta'ala Qur'an-e Karim mein hame deta hai ke دنیاوی چیزوں سے فائدہ ضرور اٹھاؤ لیکن یہ بھی یاد رکھو کہ تمہارا مقصد ایک خدا کی عبادت کرنا بھی ہے اور اس خدا کے بندوں کے حقوق ادا کرنا بھی ہے Over 290 kilometers away, a similar beacon of peace and love was inaugurated at the hands of Hazur. The inauguration of the Bad al-Wahid Mosque in the German city of Hanau was held on the 27th of May. which marked the 107th year of the establishment of Khilafat. In this case, it was told that there was a supermarket here. And in that supermarket, people go to their groceries, to buy shopping, to complete the needs of the needs. And they pay for the money. But, in this case, یہاں اس سپر مارکیٹ کو اب جو تبدیل کیا گیا ہے مسجد میں تو یہاں اس میں دنیاوی اور مادی چیزیں تو نہیں ملیں گی لیکن یہ ایک خدا کا گھر بنایا گیا ہے اس خدا کا گھر جس نے کہا کہ میری عبادت بھی کرو اور اعلیٰ اخلاقی قدروں کا بھی اظہار کرو اپنے ہمسایوں کے حقوق بھی ادا کرو اور امن اور محبت کی فضا بھی قائم کرو بس اب اس جگہ شہر کے لوگوں کے لیے رہنے والوں کے لیے یہ مال میسر آئے گا یہ چیزیں میسر آئیں گی جو بغیر کسی قیمت کی ادائیگی کے میسر آ سکتی ہیں On the 9th of June, Hazur inaugurated the Bath al-Qadir Mosque in the city of Feshta. Hazur led the Zohar and Asr prayers and also planted a tree. In the evening, Hazur graced a reception which was attended by over 170 dignitaries. Hazur's inspiring keynote address was again the highlight of the evening. The city of Izalon was blessed with the laying of a foundation stone for the Bath al-Salam Mosque. A formal session which was attended by over 50 dignitaries saw many influential people welcoming Hazur to the city and congratulating the community on the achievement.
In his keynote address, Hazu reminded the community of their responsibilities of spreading peace and love. Finally, a five-story administrative building was inaugurated, named Badr Lafayette. It will provide offices for the Ansar and Lejna of Frankfurt, from which they can continue work of the community in a more professional manner. One of the objectives of the advent of the promised Messiah was to guide his community to a relationship with Allah the Almighty. Not only his community, rather his target was the whole of mankind. However, such a strenuous task could not be achieved by one man alone. Jamia Ahmadiyya is one such institute that has been established for this very purpose. Hazur graces the students of Jamia Ahmadiyya UK with various sittings and constantly reminds them of their responsibilities as future missionaries. But the flagship event of Jamia is of course the convocation of the batch that is qualified as new missionaries. This year's convocation, once again, saw Hazur award the graduates with the Shahid degree and reminded them of their responsibilities. आज अल्लाह ताला के फजल से आप में से बाईस तलबा जो आखिरी क्लास के शायद के थे मुबलक और मुरब्बी बन कर निकल रहे हैं अल्लाह ताला ये आज हर लिहाज से अगों मुबारक फरमाए आप उन लोगों में शामिल हो गए हैं जो तफक्कुर फिर दीन करने के बाद दुनिया को हक और सदाकत दिखाने और दुनिया को हक और सदाकत पर चलाने के लिए मुकर्र किए गए हैं। बस सबसे पहले तो आपको हर वक्त हर लम्हा खुद अपने जायज लेने की जरूरत है। कि ये जिम्मेदारी जो आप पर पड़ी है, ये एक बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी है। हकों सदाकत बताना और सिखाना और उस दुनिया को चलाना ये कोई मामूली काम नहीं है। ये एक बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी है, जिसको जैसा कि मैंने कहा हर वक्त आपको अपने सामने रखना होगा, पेशे नजर रखना होगा। तभी आप अपनी जिम्मेदारी को आसन रंग में अदा कर सकेंगे। Hazur not only deals with their spiritual training but also focuses on their physical training. Exercise जो है बड़ी जरूरी है और exercise ऐसी होनी चाहिए कि सारे जिस्म को fit करे। मेदे के पेट के मसल जो हैं वो सही होने चाहिए जिनके जिस्म पे ढबे हो रहे हैं वो ये देखें कि हमने किस तरह अपने जिस्मों को सही भी रखना है और सेहत से भी रखना है दोनों चीजें जरूरी हैं Even though such people have been prepared to train the members of the community in working towards improving their spiritual state streamline their lives and develop the habit of hard work the main role is played by the head of our community Hazrat Khalifa al being the spiritual father of the community, leaves no stone unturned to constantly guide the Jamaat to its prime objective. Throughout the year, various classes with the youth allows them to seek vital advice and training from their beloved Imam. Ijtama'at provide a, a perfect platform from where Hazur can remind the Lajna, Nasirat, Atfal, members of the Waqfino scheme, Ansar and Qadam of their responsibilities. Hazur addressed the Lajna on their national ishtama regarding the importance of the veil. If Allah has prescribed some things which in certain situations women may consider difficult or even restrictive, then the reward from Allah will also be far greater. For example, where Allah has given the commandment to observe parda, he has also stated that God is He who is forgiving and merciful and God's compassion, mercy and love will rain down upon those women who follow 
this command. Another important landmark of the year was the congregational prayers led by Hazur when the solar eclipse was witnessed. According to the practice of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, Hazur addressed a congregation at the Fazl Mosque, reminding us of the importance of eclipses, as stated by the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and the promised Messiah, peace be on him. एक खुतबा भी दिया जाता है तो इसके मुताबिक गहन ग्रहण के हवाले से बाज हदीस पेश करता हूं जिसे आ हजरत सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम की तरीक और इसकी अहमियत और जो आपने साय फरमाई वो हमारे सामने आती है इस जमाने में कुसूफ और कुसूफ का हज मसीम अलैहि सलाम से भी ताल्लुक है حضرت مسیم علیہ السلام کی آمد کی ایک نشانی چاند اور سوج گرہن بھی تھا جس کے بارے میں آن حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی ایک لمبی حدیث ہے اور یہ ایک ایسا نشان تھا جو پہلے کسی دعویٰ کرنے والے کے دعویٰ کی تائید میں ظاہر نہیں ہوا The upcoming Jalsa symbolizes the end of another eventful year for the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community this was merely a glimpse into Hazu's engagements throughout the year. The upcoming year will no doubt bring another full agenda. Another year begins for our beloved Imam to guide and train the members of his community. Another year as the custodian and champion of Islam. Another year to spread the message of the true Islam. Another year of the head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Another year of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih.